These are the tips I would give myself if I could go back in time to when I first started playing guitar. What's good YouTube? Before we go any further, I would just like to put a disclaimer out there. This video is not going to be as funny or crazy as my previous videos. If that's what you're looking for, you can click down. I will leave a link for them in the description. This video will be somewhat more descriptive and informative on my past experiences and my mistakes that I made while playing guitar and playing bass because I played both guitar and bass. I also play drums, however, this is not about drums. I will make a video about drums at a later stage for all you drummers out there. All right, so without further ado, here are my five Tips for beginner guitarists and bassists. Tip number one, you need to really ask yourself, do I want to play guitar? Do I want to play bass? Which one do I want to play? You need to find out if you are really passionate about guitar or bass or music in general because it takes a long time to learn music. Music, learning guitar and learning bass isn't an overnight thing. It doesn't happen in a week, it doesn't happen in a month, it happens over a couple of years. So if you feel that you do not have the dedication to continue practicing, guitar and bass, then maybe you should consider not getting into it as it might be a waste of time and money because if you buy one, you might just regret. You also have to decide what you want to achieve on guitar or bass. What style do you want to play? Do you want to become an absolute trainer like, say for example, Stevie T, Jimmy Page, Dave Mustaine, James Heffield, or like Davey 504 on bass for example? Or do you want to play those type of songs that you play around a campfire that only require three or four chords that usually only take about a couple of months to master? You have to really decide on what you want to do and it will help you put in the amount of time. You need to figure out how much time you're going to put in. You also need to realize, will you have the time? You need to ask yourself, will I have the time to take out of my busy day, out of my busy schedule and put it towards learning and playing guitar? Am I dedicated enough to do that? If you've answered yes to this, then congratulations. You are probably dedicated and probably will be dedicated to playing and learning guitar or bass. It also won't be so fair on your wallet and or on your parents' wallet, whoever is buying the guitar or bass for you. Because otherwise, if you only learn to play for like a couple of months or a couple of weeks and then you realize all of a sudden, okay, I, no, I'm not as dedicated as I thought I would be. I am not as interested in guitar or bass as I thought I would be. And now you have a guitar or a bass just lying around collecting dust and taking up space in your house. But now you either have to get rid of it or just hoard it away and keep it until maybe your grandchildren or your grandchildren's children find it. It might make a cool heirloom, but other than that, it's pretty much a waste of time. Number two, don't start a band or get into a band straight away with little to no experience. It will most certainly, definitely, 100% backfire in your face. Because I'm telling you now, there's nothing worse than forming a band or going to join a band and you lead them on with how much experience that you have. You say, for example, lie to them or over-exaggerate the kind of experience and the skills that you have and they try and show you a song to play and you actually cannot play it and then it puts you and them in an awkward position now they have to kick you out or make or make you leave and it just it's uncomfortable and it's just not ethical i think you should you should 100 percent first learn how to play things and then maybe join a band being in a band as well takes a lot of dedication and practice and it is not easy I'll also leave another, I'll make a video on that sometime in the future with regarding to making a band, starting a, your own music group. It's not easy, however, with practice and patience, it can become easier and enjoyable. But I will, enough on that, I'll make a video on that some other time. Which leads me to another point. You should definitely learn other people's songs on a site, say for example, ultimateguitar.com. You should learn famous musicians' songs. Led Zeppelin, ACDC, Judas Priest, Megadeth. Okay, Megadeth might be a bit extreme because they do make difficult songs. I would recommend something on the style of Metallica if you're into thrash and metal like that. Learning music via tabs or sheet music can really help you in the long run, especially when you go and audition for a band and they shove a piece of music or guitar tabs or bass tabs in front of you and then they expect you to play it once off. And let me tell you, if you cannot play what they have put in front of you, they're either going to do two things. They're either going to uh, nicely ask you to leave and that they will not be taking you because you don't have the required skills that they want, or they will just yeet you out of the venue or wherever they are practicing in a very disrespectful and rude way. 
the, mu the music industry is different and diverse like that. Another thing you should be doing is learning songs from YouTube playthroughs. So for example, when you look up a song, say for example, Sweet Child of Mine by Guns N' Roses, if you look up that song on YouTube and you look up a guitar or bass playthrough, you'll see someone or you'll see a video of someone showing you how to play the song or they'll just be playing the song, they'll do, be doing a cover. What you can do is you can slow down the video or you can just play it at normal speed and you can look at what their fingers are doing. This will help you read what other musicians are doing. So especially if you join a band later on in life or an orchestra or whatever and they show you a piece that they want you to play or try or they want you to try and find something else to play with that they will show you and then depending on how much YouTube videos you have watched and trying to learn from guitar playthroughs on YouTube they it will help with your skill in picking up that what they're showing you. I have friends who can literally pick up something that I show them with without even just like by looking at it once. I show them a difficult piece uh, that I think is incredibly difficult to play and they look at it they're like oh is it like this you know and then they then I'm like yes wow how did you do that? So literally, but that comes after doing it many times. Number three, learn music theory. This is personally something that I have struggled with forever and I actually still don't know how to read music theory and I regret not learning this when I first started playing guitar and when I first started learning how to play bass. Every musician can agree on this. Learning music theory is a pain. It is difficult and it is time consuming to learn. If anyone tells you otherwise, if anyone tells you that it's easy to learn and it's not that difficult, they're either not a musician or they are just lying. However, with that being said, it wouldn't really make sense for you to learn music theory if you're just playing guitar and bass for the fun of it or and you're just playing it at home in front of friends and family and you're not actually wanting to pursue guitar and bass or music as a profession. But as much as it pains me to say, learning music theory can really benefit your future as a musician, especially if you want to become professional. Say for example, you want to go and audition for an orchestra or a band and they throw a piece of music. Not tabs, sheet music, like legitimate sheet music with the little notes and the dots and the quavers, etc. And you cannot play it. How do you think that interview will go down? Not well. Taking the time and energy as well, aside from learning guitar or bass, to learning music theory will greatly give, will, will increase your opportunities in your future as a musician. If people throw something in front of you and they expect you to side read it, your side reading will be greatly increased. Side reading basically is when someone puts something in front of you and they give you a minute to go through it and then you have to play the full thing quick and easy and see, and they have to judge you and see how well you play. This will also help you, greatly help you when you, or if you join a music school and you're doing an exam. So I think ABRS, ABRSM does this. ABRSM is a music school. They will put sight reading in front of you and then you have to, you look at it for a minute or something like that, and then you have to play it to the best of your ability. However, another warning, in the music industry with regards to playing in an orchestra or playing classic music, it is industry standard to learn and know music theory. You are nothing special if you know it, and you are certainly an outcast if you don't know it, because how can you expect to play anything when you don't know how to read sheet music? I mean, sure, you can Google the song beforehand, but if you're playing a six or five or four part symphony, how will you memorize that entire thing? I know some people can do it, but it is very unlikely. So you'll be sitting there with your orchestra, with your sheet music in front of you, and then you'll be playing. Yes, I know, music theory is incredibly difficult to learn. However, I've been told by other musicians who have actually taken the time to learn music theory and who have been taught music theory from the very beginning when they first started playing the instruments, that it becomes easier over time. The more you practice, the more you learn, the easier it becomes. Music theory is like another language to learn. So you can basically add it to your second or third or fourth language. Step four, do not compare yourself. Please, 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 all you beginner musicians out there, please do not compare yourself to any other musician or instrumentalist. 
especially if they have been playing much longer than you, obviously they're going to have more skills than you because they have more experience, they've been playing longer, they've been practicing longer, they've probably played live, they have more experience. Please do not compare yourself to other people if they can play a song that you cannot play. It can put your morale down, it can discourage you from playing any further songs and learning and pursuing music and guitar or bass as a hobby or a profession in the future. And plus, it's just outright dumb. Instead of comparing yourself, you should rather think to yourself, okay, I like the way that guy or that girl or that person is playing. I want to be able to play like that. I want to learn that song. You, are, you have now just set yourself a goal and you are going to make it your mission to achieve that goal as quick as you can. So you will do what it takes to get to that level of skill. You're gonna practice and play as much as you can to get there. And trust me, once you get there and you can play that song, you'll feel much more confident and relaxed and you'll feel great about yourself. You'll feel much more confident in yourself and you'll want to pursue more harder, more challenging songs, more challenging things with regards to music, bass or guitar. And finally, Number five, practice, practice, practice. You know they really aren't lying when they say practice makes perfect and when they say Rome was not built in a day. I cannot stress this enough. You cannot hope to achieve your goals of guitar or bass if you do not take the time out of your day to practice. A lot of these famous musicians such as Jimmy Page, Jimi Hendrix and Stevie Ray Vaughan, and those kind of famous guitarists and musicians Le Claypool, which is a famous bass player, they, t they took hours out of their days to play and practice their instruments. They, they didn't go to parties, they didn't hang out with their friends, they played their instrument because they loved it so much. They were passionate about the instruments and you should be the same. Like I said in step number one, you need to decide if you really, really are passionate and you really want to learn guitar. It doesn't matter if you just want to learn for fun or if you just want to or if you want to take it as a career choice or a profession, you need to be practicing if you want to get to what you want to do. If you want to play harder songs or if you want to get to those skills that you see other famous musicians playing. Alright guys, that was it for today. That was my five tips for beginner guitarists and bassists. And I hope you took something away from this video and I hope I've inspired you and maybe someday I'll see you on the stage. Enjoy.